In 2006, American car seat manufacturer DX Racer launched the world's first gaming chair. With a design reminiscent of the racing seat in a sports car, the gaming chair model would soon take off. Increased global interest in esports events and the launch of live stream platform Twitch in 2011 saw the gaming chair become a staple of the industry, the space now awash with copycat designs. With the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020, gaming chairs saw a skyrocketing popularity. One manufacturer, Secret Lab, reported $260 million in revenue at the end of the 2021 financial year. The pandemic was less kind to regular office chairs, with their sales dipping massively as early as June of 2020. The broader field of gaming chairs is characterized by a few key factors. Bucket seats, high backrests, large lumbar and neck pillows, and eye-catching coloration are almost a requirement. Gaming chairs tend to be some of the most expensive models on the market, advertise on their comfort and ergonomic design. Despite this, there's little evidence to suggest that these chairs are better than other, much cheaper models. Hi, my name is Luke, and when I'm not at work and out and about, I like to unwind and watch some YouTube. I've tried a couple of chairs in the past, um, but this chair is the best fit for me in terms of my back, and I can adjust my chair arms both upwards and outwards that suit me best to my day-to-day -day use. Luke has what's known as an ergonomic mesh chair. In Australia, you can buy this exact model for $269. Not insignificant, but by no means anywhere near the price as many gaming chairs will demand. But a high price tag can be worth it if the chair offers better support. Here we have Luke sitting down in his chair on the left and the gaming chair on the right. Let's see how his posture compares. Not gonna lie, when I sent this gaming chair, it was it's pretty garbage. Felt immediate discomfort, the need to readjust, and well, I'll definitely be sticking with this chair. The posture of the subject on the left is more upright. When the subject sits down in the chair on the right, he does slump and his head position is not as good. I am Dr. Narelle Roberts, chiropractor, and I've been practicing for 30 years in Victoria. Comparing the two chairs, the subject, when he sat down in the chair on the left, he automatically positioned himself in a much better posture. His head position is quite good. When he sat down in the chair on the right, he slumped down into the chair. He did try to move the cushion, but his head position is still quite poor and his upper back, his thoracic spine, seems to be more rounded than it is in the chair on the left. The long-term effects of sitting with poor posture um, is it will create pain and discomfort in the upper back and which then creates forward head posture, which creates neck pain. A lot of people develop, also develop headaches from that. Um, sitting in a chair that supports you well means that you can sit up straighter for longer, but we were never designed to sit for long periods of time. So your chair is really important in your sitting position. The sporty design of gaming chairs is great to keep you secure when driving on a racetrack but the requirements of a chair in a home environment are simply very different. If it weren't for the pillows, this chair's backrest would be completely flat. But with the pillows in place, even more problems can arise. In the case of this chair and many others, these neck and lumbar supports aren't locked into place, making them prone to shift when you move. This requires the user to constantly adjust their pillows, which they're unlikely to do if sitting for a long period of time. I'm Joanne Donio. I'm an associate professor at the New York Institute of Technology, and I'm also the director of clinical research. Joanne was a part of the 2019 study, an osteopathic physician's approach to the esports athlete, that detailed the leading health concerns in professional gamers. There's no research backing it, but notoriously gamers will tell you how uncomfortable gaming chairs really are. Um, they look great, but are they really designed for comfort for prolonged sitting? And that's really what we're looking at with a lot of the gaming chairs. Are they any different than gaming with, say, an ergonomically correct chair for somebody who sits at an office all day? What makes these so um, gaming specific and, and are they working? Does it help to have a higher end chair that I've never seen anything that actually scientifically proves that? So, should you buy a gaming chair? I don't know, maybe just don't buy this one. It is in fact pretty garbage. What's more important is that you find the chair right for you. At best, gaming chairs are racing seats retrofitted with ergonomic design. That's not to say they're all bad, but you can almost definitely find something better for less. At the end of the day, most of these chairs preference form over function. And while their aesthetics may be appealing, a chair's ergonomics should always come first.
it's definitely something that I know a lot of people buy over the internet and things, but it's, it's something that you do have to try out first. Don't just be set because it says gaming chair that it's appropriate for you because there's lots of different types of chairs out there. Um, definitely sample a few and test out a few before you go ahead and purchase one. A great looking chair may not necessarily support you all that well or even be comfortable, which is why it's so important to try before you buy. I mean, after all, What's the point of having a cool chair if you don't want to sit in it?